Loft 100 Studios, The Big Biz Show, and our affiliates and our hosts are not registered investment advisors or broker dealers. Our show hosts make no commitment that the purchase of securities of companies profiled or otherwise mentioned in our programming are suitable or advisable for any person, or that an investment in such securities will be profitable in general. Given the nature of the companies profiled and a lack of an active trading market for their securities, investing is highly speculative and carries a high degree of risk. We profile selected publicly traded and privately held companies on our program. Most of these companies that we profile have provided compensation to Loft 100 Studios and its hosts for the profile coverage. From time to time, we sell shares the companies profiled in the open market that we receive as compensation for coverage of client companies. But never sell stock if we are speaking about, interviewing, or covering a public company who has paid us compensation. Specific questions on compensation can be directed to producer at sullyentertainmentgroup.com. Listeners should verify all claims and do their own due diligence before purchasing any securities mentioned on this program. Investing in securities is speculative and carries a high degree of risk. We encourage our listeners to invest carefully and read the investor information available at the websites on the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC at sec.gov or the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, at finra.org. Welcome aboard. Welcome to The Big Biz Show, featuring insight, analysis, and a lot of stuff that's none of your business. Uh, hold on. This is The Big Biz Show. I think it is their business. Making the markets work for you. Here's the man with the plan, Sully. So riddle me this, what does a wine company, a sports beverage company, and a tequila company have in common? Well, they are all liquids, they are all in containers, and it does an accurate representation of my weekend. But what else do they all have in common? I'll tell you. They're all portfolio companies, or one of several companies owned by what's known as a private equity company. A private equity company is a type of company that pulls money from investors to buy and invest in other companies. These private equity companies provide additional capital, help with consolidation and distribution, and in a lot of cases, additional expertise in the sector that the company has bought into. For example, Robert Nestico, the CEO of Splash Beverage Company that owns all three of these brands, is one of the original employees from Red Bull. It's like bringing Mike Tyson to a pillow fight. I was gonna rip his heart out, I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. I don't think we came here to pillow fight. So how do private equity companies make money by buying businesses? By selling their ownership stake in their portfolio companies for more than what they invested for, or by generally improving them to turn a bigger profit. Now, if you're a private equity company looking to get a loan to buy a portfolio company, the bank's looking for something very specific, EBITDA. I know it looks like EBT with extra steps, but it actually stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, amortization, um, amortiz amortization. What that comes down to is how much does the company you're trying to buy make that can be spent on repaying a loan. Now here's where the money making comes in. Let's take a look at a few different scenarios here. You just bought a company that's making a steady positive cash flow and you don't want to change any of that. Easy day, let's ride the lightning, let's let these guys do their thing, and then we will just continue to pay off that loan until we get down to 100%, then we own the company. Safe, but boring. Next, we can improve the company. Two things you can mainly do, grow your top line revenue, or start making necessary cuts or layoffs to turn a greater profit. Let's say you did a really great job at this. You had a $100 million loan, and you paid back 80 million of it. Now you can do something called a dividend and recap. That's where after paying off the majority of one loan, you just reopen the original loan knowing that the company has the capability to pay it back. And then with that new money, you pay your shareholders whatever the amount of the loan is. And you can do that as many times as you want. Rinse, lather, repeat. Dividend returns. Now, another way that PEs can make money in this scenario, that's what the smart people call private equities, is something called management fees. It's essentially a fee that the PE charges the portfolio company for their expertise E. That's what all three of these beverages have in common. That's all I can tell you right now. If you wanna know more, you're gonna have to talk to an expert like Robert Nestico.